YouTube. What's going on? We're back with some more of the First Descendant. We've got a great early game uh, farming location here for you, as well as I go over my early game uh, build as well, just some of the nodes, reactor setups, and whatnot. Uh, the location of the early game farm, this is the Magister Lab. It's located in the Kingston area. You spawn in at the Fallen Theater, and it's not too far away from that, from that spawn spot. So great place. That's where I've been kind of farming. It's one of my three spots that I'll be uh, putting out videos for. So you guys like what you see here. As always, please give the video a thumbs up, turn on the notifications, sub to the channel. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Do live streaming there as well. Enjoy. Alright, again, so we spawned at the Fallen Theater. And we are heading towards the Magister Lab uh, mission. Marked down on the waypoint, and we'll just head right over. Here. All right, and this is the location for it. Just went over on the map. over my starter build there now so this is the build that I got and I will see we're grabbing you know consumables all that stuff for uh, for the uh, for the modding again so this is a, a great uh, single player grind point right here and just because this is level one so you can if you got a party you could do it with the public or you're doing in private and again that's kind of why i like this one outside of the uh the public map because again you can just chill and do it solo give it a few days i'm sure they'll have to work out some bugs i'm sure the server's absolutely fried right now the global launch is crazy this is the ancestors facility i hope you can find something we can use to restore my system but the Vargas commander has already ordered his troops to extract the data. Are we too late? Ancestors' data should not be underestimated. Not only does it have immense capacity, oh, yeah, it's also one. Yeah, this is crazy. Even the magistrates who are here doing research have said that full data extraction is impossible. Magisters? Do you mean the technologists who were once allied with the Vargas? No, this game felt More way better in the morning though. The enemy is after the ancestors' data as well. Can anyone think why? Nothing comes to mind. My only guess is that this place is somehow connected to the Iron Heart. I'll know once I have the data. My little, uh, my little drones just shooting shards of ice at them. It's crazy. It's an ultimate weapon right there. skills right now Descendant. unfortunately none of the ancestors data remains in this terminal I will check the other terminals 
We will check the other terminal. The were successful with their extraction. That can't be right. If it were possible to fully extract the data, then the Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the Vulgus as well. However, if there is someone on their side who is very familiar with the Ironheart, then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Ironheart to military applications, electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. I recommend we investigate the other terminals. I recommend. Descendant, did you come here looking for me? Or did you come to witness the superior technology of the Vulgus? I am Grey, Commander of the Vulgus forces. It is a shame that I am unable to face you directly. That's a horrible shot. <laughs> disgusting on these uh, rifles too. stuff. Honestly, from what I've seen, it looks disgusting. Just because of the sheer shackles, um, Dream. It's, it's, about, it's about stacking the ice damage and the shackles, it looks like, from what I can understand. So, uh, so keep on locking it. Like, it's pretty disgusting. When you get Blizzard, man, you just drop one of those orbs of Blizzard. Ooh, rough. Even this the ice. The ice running is this. The hip fire is ridiculous. Fire is definitely where it's at, but they see those little orbs there, those those orbs of shackle. That's kind of where it's at. The more, the longer you can keep those out, it's all in the uh, skill set. I'll go over it in a second here. Where are we, sir? This terminal also does not contain the ancestors' data. However, descendant. I sense the transmission of the Ancestor's data is happening close by. That is not likely where the enemy command center is located. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, transmitting data over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve the Ancestor's data. Just a couple of little grenade shots there, it's all over. Just gonna be all that loot.
We just wasted time. I think that was the end of the mission right there. Definitely could have had that reduced. Performance out a ton. Magisters? Do you mean the technologists who were once allies of the Golgus? More importantly, the enemy is after the ancestors' data as well. Can anyone think why? Nothing comes to mind. My only guess is that this place is somehow connected to the Iron Heart. I'll know once I have the data. Unfortunately, none of the Ancestors' data remains in this terminal. I will check the other terminals, but it seems the Vulgus were successful with their extraction. That can't be right. If it were possible to fully extract the data, then the Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the Vulgus as well. However, if they have someone on their side who is very familiar with the Iron Heart, then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Iron Heart to military applications, electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. I recommend we investigate the other terminals. We shall. Descendant, did you come here looking for me? Or did you come to witness the superior technology of the Vulcans? It is a shame that I am unable to face you directly. We got our blizzard. We're back. We're back.
fire on that gun is disgusting. This terminal also does not contain the ancestors' data. However, descendant, I sense the transmission of the ancestors' data is happening close by. That is most likely where the enemy command center is located. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, transmitting data over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve the ancestors' data. I was all nice. What I know so far. So again, we're rocking special rounds, um, impact rounds, and high-powered rounds. I'm just kind of keep trying to keep a switch of three, so I can stack at least three different types of ammo. I can use general rounds or whatever, which are the white ones, you know. And there is some legendaries. Obviously, we scooped this up in the uh, in the battle pass. So that's kind of what we're rocking with and again we can combo some of these up I'm just kind of trying to keep different weapon types together um, again we can keep quite a few um, in our inventory so we'll just keep a tab on that as we keep to you know keep farming um, so there's the weapons there again this is your mastery rank we went over that uh, in Albion obviously this is the current level that you're you're in uh, you can get a whole bunch of presets going uh, for your build, um, we might uh, set something up like that later for experimenting with different types of builds with the Viasa uh, weapons list. So again, that's just exactly what it is. Just breaks down everything that uh, you know, all your weapons based on their um, again their, their ammo types and the descendant module. This is extremely important. Again, you have a module capacity, um, you know, MP makeup. Um, yeah, you know, you can equip the recommended one, you know, um, do additional settings, but essentially you just want to, you know, equip uh, all of the, the best ones, and this is how we're going to make our build. Uh, this is how it's it's going to be built, so using all of these. power modifier Don't really know that. the sufficient capacity Slap those suckers on, and you can maximize it again with the you know an equip recommended module. I just slapped on basically what I thought was uh, best for now, but essentially what I'm looking for is skill, cool.
cooldown and anything to boost like these are a lot of defensive ones we're looking for stuff that'll boost skill power or reduce the ability cooldown or increase damage uh, versus ice you know having it uh, you know an HP MP recovery modifier is also uh, pretty sweet on there as well so and again these can be upgraded again where I showed you it in Albion with the with the guy you can keep increasing the level of these things and there's a way to actually save the attributes and transfer them over to others as well so it's pretty in-depth on the, uh, the on the uh, on what it can do uh, obviously we're gonna save and then you can have different uh, again different builds and different settings for your for your mods for different characters which is pretty sweet so you can have a quick three build setup so that's what we're we're kind of running there now it's just a lot of um, uh, that's these those are my best ones the purples uh, just some fire resist increased shield increased defense you know fire resist skill power modifiers those are the ones we really want we'll be looking to upgrade those ones and uh, some attribute reduce. It just it costs a lot of resources right now, so we'll just keep upgrading them. And then obviously we're gonna have some spares. You only have so much you can carry based off of your your capacity there. So the more they level up, or the more heavier they are, based off of the value that's up on the top there, um, limits how many you can carry. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that for sure. Um, so yeah, that's your descendant module. Now all of your weapons also have module. You can see there's a Y yeah, module here. If you're not using an Xbox, you just go on the modules here, and it's the same thing for your weapons. They have specific uh, ones that you can equip for them to increase the fire rate. You know, it adds an electric attack um, to the firearm. Uh, Eight percent or equal to eight percent of the firearm attack. So that's pretty sick but we're not synergized with you know with electric so again we'll be looking for ice and, and just some extra attack so not not too shabby we're you know in, in our infancy here so we still got a long way to go for those but again each one will have its own set just want to make sure these are on there of things so we got fire rate and again we're rocking the scout and each set of armor so again this is our uh, this is our ultimate it's a grenade launcher uh, you know I'm not too whipped up on it but again adds toxic uh, we point and again you know just some extra fire rate we're just looking to maximize what we can for ice so that's pretty sick and we're obviously we're looking for those ultimate uh, weapons with the ultimate attributes on them and we do got one going here with the uh, with the grenade launcher so we'll put it to put it to work so I went through that went through all this so now we have our uh, reactors so again the reactors you want them to synergize as you can see there's a sniper rifle uh, weapon class equip you can gain extra um, damage boost with that and you see this one here it's got scout and it's also got chill and singularity on it as well so uh, because I'm utilizing a scout rifle I can take advantage of that uh, chill chill power boost ratio so we'll actually slap that sucker on there so again this one also has it but it's a but it's electric so we don't really need it we can garbage that that's essentially what we're just looking for synergies we got a fusion fusion skill uh, power which we can utilize on that one so we've got at least one there it's electric we got a chill we got a chill there just wanted the ones where we're actually utilizing them we dismantle all the rest so again, that's what we're trying to synergize all all of our chill. Try to maximize chill. Try to get a two one with at least two on there. So we're constantly looking to upgrade our reactors, uh, giving us you know a, again a chill skill power boost ratio. So I'm getting extra damage on that. And then obviously because this is an epic one, you get an extra you know status when attacking a colossus on the bottom and um, when attacking regions of immortality uh, on the bottom there. I can't even say it properly. I've, immortality legion of immortality so bonuses there now these are pretty cool here these are just extra components as well but what i did notice last time is you can grab sets of them so there's a tomb vagguard set so when you do get a set it increases you know as you can see there's a set effect i forget four of them it's a skill power modifier um plus 2.5 electric resistance so that's pretty sick on top of the damage so it's i didn't realize that there was them and they just kind of show up here i think i've already gone through these so i don't have one but each one of these just fits into its own slot, so that would replace that one if I if I wanted to. But again, this is part of the Tomb Vanguard set that we're trying to build, and obviously get a four-piece set, or I guess there'll be multiple sets of them. We'll find out as we keep as we keep going along. 
but that creases yeah just some defense and, and the, the stats are kind of all over the place it could be defense as you can see there i think some of these are defense is there that always hp there now see this one's a defensive one so they do fluctuate depending on what's in the slot there we're just trying to utilize and again there's it looks like there's sets that you can get to further buff your skill power and, and resistance to get certain things so we'll be keeping our eye out for those as we're grinding some of the levels so that's kind of it in a nutshell for the build and obviously we're grabbing